is KCAU 9 News. Siouxland proud. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Rebecca Pryor. Now that the temperatures are cooling down in Siouxland, organizations like the Warming Shelter are already preparing for the long winter season. That's our top story. The shelter plans to open its doors on November 1st and is already accepting warm clothes and food to help people in the community. The shelter is also purchasing the neighboring pawn shop building, providing more space to accommodate a growing homeless population in Sioux City. There's been a huge influx, I think, in the homeless, the homeless population within Sioux City. Uh, we're currently open on Sundays throughout the summer, and our numbers have risen drastically. We were seeing about 40 to 50 people a day, and now we're seeing anywhere from 75 to 80 people a day. The pawn shop's manager says the new building will be open by the winter season. It's a weekend of shopping and giving back to the community at the First Congregational United Church of Christ in Sioux City. The children's closet has taken over the church basement, allowing people to purchase gently used children's clothes and equipment. There's also a rummage sale upstairs and a bake sale, all designed to help support women and children in need of support around Siouxland. 100% of the bake sale and the rummage sale, that goes straight back into the community, and 20% of the children's closet. So, but we've had families here Right now it's quiet, but this morning was just people were walking out with huge bags because they could clothe their whole families for almost nothing. And it just makes such a difference for families. The proceeds are given to clients from local women's shelters and other nonprofits, allowing them to shop for free at the event held each spring and fall. After a wet spring and another after a wet spring, another fear is stalking Iowa farmers, and that's an early frost. Farmers had a rough start to the year with cold and wet conditions resulting in a late planting season. Officials say many farmers were at least three weeks behind putting their crops in the ground this spring. Now they're rushing to get the harvest done this fall. If it freezes and kills the plant before it's mature, it reduces the quality, it doesn't store as well, it isn't as valuable, and of course it reduces the yield. So we were hoping that this frost would hold off and a killing frost would hold off until, you know, we got those crops mature. Officials say about two weeks of warmer temperatures are needed to make sure that corn is fully mature by harvest time. And good news for corn farmers, the Trump administration says that they have a plan that will increase ethanol demand. The new mandate called... The renewable fuel standard outlines how many gallons of ethanol and biodiesel ref refiners must blend into the nation's fuel supply each year. The plan addresses complaints that the small refinery exemption waivers decrease demand for ethanol and cause several ethanol plants to close, including four in Iowa. This announcement today uh, will help create more demand for ethanol. It will um, enforce the law, which was passed in 2007 by Congress, that requires big oil companies to blend ethanol into the gasoline supply. The ethanol plant says the new rules will benefit local farmers, as many of them are also battling the ongoing trade war. Details on the exact plan that will be put into place will be released on November 30th. We're now joined by meteorologist Caitlin Lohr. A lot of organizations and people preparing for the cold, especially me, who already has their heat on. Is it going to be a cold front next week, or are we going to see more fall like we, temperatures? We're going to see some, a little bit of both. Definitely a major cold front coming through that's going to bring that word that we don't want yet of some snow flurries. That but the good news is, word, no. I know, the good news is it won't last long and it should not even accumulate too much on the ground. It'll most likely melt as it hits. So that is good news there with that scary four-letter snow word. Well, here's the current view outside in Cherokee, Iowa, where you can see some blue sky and some clouds still lingering around. This view brought to you by the North Star Community Credit Union. Temperatures, I know I mentioned snow later on this week or the possibility of some flurries, but right now temperatures are far from bringing us snow in the 60s at 62 in Sioux City. A little bit cooler than that at 59 in Cherokee and Storm Lake, as well as Orange City and 60 right now out in Wayne. All around a very fall-like afternoon and evening, and it's going to continue that way through the night and the day tomorrow. Wind speeds, though, a little bit breezy this afternoon at 17 miles an hour from the northwest in Sioux City. A little bit stronger in Orange City at 22 miles an, up, uh, miles an hour up there and 21 miles an hour still up by Spencer. These winds will die down as they head into as we head into the overnight hours tonight. 
and they're going to pick back up in another day or two. We'll touch on that in just a minute as well. Taking a look at our satellite radar imagery, you can see we started off a little bit cloudy earlier this morning and afternoon, but throughout the late afternoon and early evening hours, we have started to see that sun come out with very little cloud coverage out there, and we're going to continue to see clearing skies as we head into tonight and tomorrow. Now, as we take a look at the stormcast, you can see all those clouds and rain showers are way past us entering the Illinois area now, so that's good for us as we're going to stay dry. We're going to see that sun come out tomorrow, but it is going to be breezy again tomorrow with highs in the mid 60s, so it's still going to be a pleasant afternoon and evening. Then on Monday, we're going to see temperatures in the mid to upper 60s again, but it's going to be a little more mild with more sunshine, so all around a great start to the week. And then on Tuesday, we're going to see some stronger winds return to the area than we're going to see tomorrow. So just something to keep in mind. We're going to see a few windy days for the start of the week before we see our cold front. Now here's, this is midnight on Wednesday, so 12 a.m. Wednesday morning. You can see not a whole lot going on, but way to our far northwest, that pink area and that blue area represents a mix of rain and snow and snow. And unfortunately, that is going to make its way into Sioux City, Siouxland, I should say, later Wednesday night into Thursday. Tonight, however, we're going to cool off with a low of 43. It's going to be mostly clear, and as I mentioned, those winds dying down. Tomorrow, we're going to rise back up to a high of 65, but as I mentioned, it's going to be breezy with winds between 10 and 20 miles an hour. But look at this. Gusts could exceed up to 30 miles an hour or a little bit higher than that at times throughout the day tomorrow. And here's a quick look at your 9 on 9 forecast going into the week ahead. As you can see, pleasant start to the week temperatures in the 60s, mid to upper 60s, little bit of breezy days there and lots of sunshine. And then that dreaded cold front we are watching on Wednesday night that's going to start in the evening hours. Look at that temperature drop, 66 on Wednesday to a high of 38 on Thursday. And yes, we could see a mix of rain and snow on Thursday at times. But as I mentioned earlier, it's not going to stick around and it will most likely melt as it touches the surface. And the good news, after that, temperatures are going to slowly uh, rise back up into the mid to upper 60s by the start of next week.